Welcome, we wild ones. I'm Alex, and I'm here at the Museum of Natural History in Halifax, Nova Scotia. Are you ready to get started? Let's go! If you love nature and you know it, clap your hands. If you love nature and you know it, clap your hands. If you love nature and you know it and you really want to show it. If you love nature and you know it, clap your hands. If you love nature and you know it. Hoot like an owl. Hoo hoo. If you love nature and you know it, hoot like an owl. Hoo hoo. If you love nature and you know it and you really want to show it. If you love nature and you know it, hoot like an owl. Hoo hoo. If you love nature and you know it. Bark like a seal. Arr, arr. If you love nature and you know it, bark like a seal. Arr, arr. If you love nature and you know it and you really want to show it. If you love nature and you know it, bark like a seal. Arr, arr. If you love nature and you know it. Ribbit like a frog. Ribbit, ribbit. If you love nature and you know it, ribbit like a frog. Ribbit, ribbit. If you love nature and you know it and you really want to show it. If you love nature and you know it, ribbit like a frog. Ribbit, ribbit. Great job, everyone. Welcome back to the Museum of Natural History, we wild ones. Today's special topic is a word called camouflage. Have you ever heard the word camouflage before? It's okay if you haven't. Camouflage is a word that describes an animal's special superpower that helps them hide. Kind of like hide and go seek. Have you played hide and go seek before? Animals are really good at playing hide and seek. Animals that are predators like coyotes or owls use camouflage to hide from their prey so they can sneak up and eat their supper. Animals that are prey, like mice or deer, use camouflage to hide from predators so they can get away. Does that make sense? Yeah. I have some of my puppet friends to help us describe camouflage. Owls are usually predators. Owls are brown and black and white, and they blend into the places where they sleep. Can you think of where animals like to sleep during the daytime? That's right, they sleep in trees and they use camouflage to hide in the branches of trees. Gray seals are white and gray and they use camouflage to hide and blend in with rocks so they can't be seen by predators. Can you think of where you see frogs in nature? Maybe near a pond or lake? Frogs are green and they blend in with plants that grow in the ponds or lakes. All right, we wild ones, now it's time to see if we can find some camouflaged animals around the museum. Here we go. I'm here in the marine gallery with a gray seal. Can you see the colors of the gray seal? That's right. It's dark gray and light gray which it uses to blend into things like rocks when they're sitting in the sunshine. Can you think of who they might be hiding from? That's right, they'd be hiding from animals like sharks. Great job, we wild ones. I'm here with my friend Gus the gopher tortoise. Can you see Gus behind me? That's because Gus is camouflaged into his environment. Gopher tortoises aren't from Nova Scotia. They're from warm, dry, sandy areas like Florida, where Gus is from. Gus's environment is sandy with grasses behind him, and he's camouflaged very well. Uh -huh. 
I'm here at the Maritime Garter Snake Tank. Can you see any Maritime Garter Snakes behind me? Maritime Garter Snakes come in all kinds of colors. What colors do you see in this one? I see brown, yellow, and green. Maritime Garter Snakes use the color of their scales to blend into their habitat. Can you think of what predators might be looking for maritime garter snakes? That's right, maybe foxes or owls. Great job, wee wild ones. Welcome to the Nature Lab at the Museum of Natural History. I have a bit of a problem and I'm hoping that you could help me. In front of me, there are two different types of habitats. Can you remember what a habitat is? That's right, a habitat is the natural environment where an animal lives. One of them is an ocean. Oceans are really, really big and they can be blue or gray or bright green too. Because they're so big, sometimes really big animals live in the ocean and the ocean is always salt water. The other habitat is a pond with a forest. Ponds are always have fresh water in them. The forest changes with the seasons. Sometimes there's big trees with bright green leaves. And in the fall, the trees lose their leaves. And in winter, it can be covered with snow and the pond might be frozen over completely and animals will be hibernating deep beneath the floor of the pond. I need your help today by helping me decide which of my toy animals belong in which habitat. Let's start with one together. Do you know what kind of animal this is? This is a great white shark. Sharks usually live in the oceans. You can tell because of its fins and the gills on the side of its head. Pretty neat, huh? Great white sharks are gray on top and white on the bottom. If we were in the ocean and were above the great white shark, it would be hard for us to see it because the dark gray would blend in with the dark ocean below us. But if we were below the great white shark and looking up at it, we would see its white underside, but we might have the sun above the ocean above us and it would be hard for us to see the great white shark. This is how sharks use camouflage so they can sneak up on their prey. So does our shark belong in the ocean or the pond? That's right, the shark belongs in the ocean. Here we have a gray seal. The gray seal looks a little like the great white shark. It's got a white belly and dark gray and black spots on its top. But they don't have gills, which means they spend a lot of time above the water but they might be sunning themselves on things like gray rocks. Gray rocks would be a great place for a seal to blend in and hide from a predator like a shark. Do you think the seal belongs in the ocean or the pond? No, the seal belongs in the ocean. Do you know what animal this is? This is a very, very big bird with great big wings. The texture of their wings are soft, but they help protect this bird. They have sharp talons and a sharp beak. Where do you think birds live? In trees. This bald eagle would have a nest in the tree. It, the texture of its feathers would help it blend into the tree's bark. Isn't that interesting? Should we put the eagle in the ocean or the pond and forest? That's right, 
Let's put it in the forest. Do you know what kind of animal this is? This is a squirrel. Squirrels can be red or gray or brown. Squirrels usually live in, that's right, trees. They usually have a nest in a tree where they have their families. They like to eat things like acorns. Because of their color of the fur, they would blend into their surroundings in the trees. Do you think we should put the squirrel in the ocean or the pond and forest? No, not the ocean. Let's put the squirrel in the forest. Great job, we wild ones. I think we put our toy animals in their correct habitats where they best camouflage themselves. Thanks for your help, we wild ones. Well, we wild ones, this is the part of the program where it's time for us to say goodbye. Can you remember what we did today? That's right. We learned all about a special word called camouflage. Camouflage is like an animal's superpower that they can use to either hide from predators or to sneak up on their prey. While we learned about camouflage, we traveled all around the museum to visit some of our special animals with, that can camouflage into their habitats. And then we played a little game with our toys to try to match them to the right habitat for them to camouflage into. Great job, we wild ones. I had a lot of fun today. If you'd like to see more We Wild Ones videos, check out our YouTube page or visit our website at museum.novascotia.ca. See you next time.